Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. In this video, I'm gonna show Logic 10 users how you can quickly add swing to drum loops, whether it's a percussion loop, hi-hat shaker, an entire drum groove, doesn't matter, this will work. Now, this is a really cool technique that you can use to add some more spice, some more flavor, and there's a little bit, more, little bit more character to drum loops, and it can really change the complexion of your drum groove by simply just dragging and dropping in a loop, and then messing around with different swing settings and swing types. So let's dive in and get started. All right, so I just started working on this track about 20 or 30 minutes ago. We have an acoustic guitar track, kick, snare, and hi-hat. What I wanna do is I want to add a shaker loop to this track and apply some swing so the rhythm isn't as straightforward. So let's take a listen. So I'm gonna pull in a simple shaker loop from one of our packs and it's at a different BPM. So that's the first step in ultimately applying swing to a audio loop or some type of you know sample based loop inside of Logic is to make sure that it's in time with your session. So this was at 100 beats per minute, we're at 147. So what you can do is just hit Control F and that will initialize the flex mode or flex time inside of Logic. Now by default, Logic's gonna choose polyphonic. Now, if your drums have like a pitch to it, maybe it's like bongos or a djembe or something like that, then you might want to use the polyphonic mode. But for a shaker or straight hi-hats, you typically don't need that. You'll get better results with either rhythmic or slicing. Rhythmic tends to preserve the transients of the audio, the source material, a little bit more cleanly. So let's choose ryth rhythmic. Let's turn this down and let's take a listen. <laughs> All right, so it is in time with our track, but again, this this is why I want to mess around with the swing. This isn't adding anything to the track in terms of groove. It's just kind of playing off of what's already there with the kick, snare, and hi-hats. So to add the actual swing to the audio, go up to your region inspector. Mine was already open, but if yours is closed, it's this little drop-down window here. And what you want to do is you want to uh, look at this section that says quantize. Now, you click that, and it's a drop-down menu, and you have these different swing settings here. So... Once you turn on one of these swing settings or any of these modes or any of these quantizations, you're going to have this extra box under it. So we'll just go to 1 8 swing A. That's Q swing. And this is the strength of the swing, essentially. And you can see if you look at the waveform as I move the slider up and down, you can see that's changing where the transients start at, essentially. So down at 1%, right, we have basically transients right on grid. And then as I start to move it up, up towards, you know, as I approach 100, it moves slightly off of the uh, off of the grid, but not at every hit, just at the hits that that swing mode is looking at, right? So we we just set to one eighth or an eighth note swing A. So this note right here, when I move this or this this hit rather right here, where my where my play hit it, play head is positioned, that moves around a lot when I move that. But you'll notice that, for instance, at one point three, that doesn't move. Now that might change if we choose a different swing setting, right? Uh, and you can mess around with this and get, you know, kind of get the vibe that you want. So let's try, let's try one eighth note swing D. All right, so I, I like that one. That one works. I like the slower vibe as opposed to the more 16th oriented rhythm that we kind of had when we dragged the loop in. So let's take this a step further. We got the swing. This is kind of a bonus tip. I want to tighten up this loop. Um, it's a little bit too uh, kind of loose, I, I guess I should say. The, the, the sound sustains more than I'd want it to. So to, to mess around with that, I can load up a transient shaper. And Logic has, has a... Uh, stock transient shaper so we can go to dynamics and we can choose the enveloper or enveloper not sure how that's pronounced and we can take the gain down on of our of our sustain and you can mess around with the time all right so let's listen to the drum groove now All right, so before we end the video, I wanted to show you guys one quick bonus tip and trick. That has to do with quantizations inside of Logic. 
So you can actually create your own custom quantization map. They're called groove templates. What do I mean by that? Well, we can actually store this rhythm, essentially, and call it up and use it as a different option in our quantization or quantize menu. So I'm going to do that now. We're going to go up to our menu, select Make Groove Template, and you're going to want to name, make sure you have the file named what you want it to be named in your quantize menu. Otherwise, it'll just go off of what the file or the region's called. So you see here we have ESW, uh, this is Latin Shaker 03. So that's this file right here. So now what I can do is I can apply that groove template or that groove map, it's kind of like a groove map in Ableton, to other materials. So let's pull in a hip hop loop, uh, kind of like a trap hi-hat loop, and we'll stretch that out. Sounds like this. So I can quant I can go to our quantize menu here, turn on our flex time. We'll set it to, we'll, we'll do slicing. Go to quantize, and now I can choose my groove template that I created, which was this Latin Shaker 03. And you'll see as I click this, the rhythm, the audio is going to get rearranged to fit that map. Right, it's got some nice swing right now. So yeah, you basically can create an endless amount of different types of quantization, quantize maps, or as they're called in logic, a groove template. All right, so it's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. That's how you can add swing to your loops inside of Logic 10. If you guys have any questions or comments, post those, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys aren't subscribed to the ADSR channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys stay up to date with all of the content ADSR is releasing. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.